Hello viewers, today we're going to be refurbishing a set of Panasonic telephones. These are DEC 6 Plus telephones and they are model KXTG4731B. So let's go ahead and get started here. I am missing one of the cradles so if I decide to use more than three handsets I'm going to have to borrow one from another set. Take the clip off first. And it looks like we have two screws at the bottom, which is fairly standard. Actually, I think I think my the uh, power thing is has a charge. Let's see here. Yeah, it does have a charge. That's nice. Looks like these are going to be a bit of a nuisance to get apart. You have to be very careful at this point because the speaker is attached back here and if you just pull it apart you can break the speaker wires and that uh, I found is irreparable you have to just replace it, the speaker Of course, these speakers look like they're very easy to solder the wires back on to. And that board is uh, a lot more simple than I would have expected it to be. Or I guess they're just getting more compact now. I'm used to the old ones that have 8 million different uh, things on there. I'm trying to see if I can find out where the antennas are in these things. I'm thinking it may be this whole thing along the sides. Or I could be totally wrong. I, I'm not entirely sure. I see antenna up there. I don't know where that goes to offhand. Anyway, so let's get this thing open. It's got a little twist off thing that keeps the speaker in place. And then some tape down here. I'll pull that off. Take that out. And this is ready to get cleaned. Um, we're going to have to clean those contacts off. Well, they look pretty clean, though. Inside of here, I think we're going to have three screws that want this board to come out. One here. And two at the bottom. Why does this not have enough slack today? Oh, jeez. Hold on, I have a little freak show here. That's a second spillage during this series of these Panasonic phones. Oh, 
Well, this, at least this one I caused. The other one, I don't know why that one happened. Okay. Let's just set this back up here. Okay. Crisis diverted. All right. And we're back. Okay, so there's the board. I'm going to set that aside for now. We'll come back later and clean that off. Buttons are actually pretty clean. I was not expecting, given the jumped up appearance of this thing. Well, anyways, uh, at this point, I'm going to take all this stuff over to the faucet and we're going to give it a good cleaning. Then we'll clean the internals and put it all back together. All right, the parts have been cleaned. Cleaned up pretty easily. So now I'm going to clean the board here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and a uh, small piece of cloth and just clean this very carefully because there is backlighting on this board and so you have to watch where you're going with the cloth Okay, not too dirty, a little bit of conductive material residue on there, but nothing noteworthy. Um, let's see here, the other thing I'm going to clean with that solution is the charging contacts. Okay, now that both of those are clean, all that's left to do is to assemble the thing again. Come on, buttons. Okay. Now I think, <clears throat> I think all this stuff can go in after I screw the board in place. At least that's what I think. Yeah, because that goes in there. That definitely goes in there. Um, and this, yeah, okay, so we're going to put the board on now. Got to get the receiver capsule, which is very nicely, this is a very well made board because all the items on here that would fail, you know, like the receiver capsule um, is very replaceable, the speaker phone is very replaceable, even the charging contacts could be pretty easily taken off and replaced. Um, Looks like the LED backlighting can be replaced too. I don't, that's something that fails regularly. Okay, that looks good. All right, so I'm going to screw this back in place now.
Okay, looks good. Everything is working, or at least it feels like it's working. Now the fun part of attaching the back board, or the back cover here. And it's going to be interesting because of all these crazy things that have to get put in place. So first let's start off with the speaker phone speaker. Okay, that looks good. And we'll tape it down here even though I don't think that's necessary. And this light is the first thing that's got to go in up here, I think. Let's see how does that sit there, since they're just like that. Let's see if I can get this to snap on. It's not quite aligning the way I want it to. Yeah, it went a little bit too far. Now I can't get the. Uh, let's see here. Can't get this big in. Okay, good. Okay, that looks good. Let me just do an intercom call and that'll be good enough to test the speakers. Alright. I'm content with that. vibration in the speaker so I think we're going to say this handset is now done and this will give you a good before and after this is the one that I have not cleaned yet and this is now cleaned <laughs> the uh, viewfinder on the camera is inverted right now because I'm looking at it from the front that's why I'm having a hard time getting it in view I'm not an absolute moron all right um, wait a minute why do we have two screws floating around here gotta get those screws in Okay, now that is completely done. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the base here and we're going to do the base. And then I'll do the other handsets off video because there's no reason to record the same thing multiple times.
Now there's one more stinking screw in there. this cradle as well uh, so just for my personal record should I need to remember it the blue is on the right I'm gonna leave this kinda like this just so I know that and uh, I'm not gonna bother cleaning this off because it's not dirty so let me go wash all these parts This we'll just wipe down later, there's no point in getting it all wet and everything. Alright, the base has been cleaned out. The surface is kind of jacked up a bit, but it's clean. Now, before I mentioned I wasn't going to clean it inside of here, but on second thought, I might as well do it anyways, even though it's working. It's, it's only going to make it work for longer. And the other thing I'm going to do is clean off these contacts to make sure that that keeps us a good charge on the phones. Okay, now we can begin reassembly. So I got to put the contacts back in here. Let's see which one of these is longer. This one is longer so it's gonna go like this. That looks good. Now um, I'm gonna reassemble this crazy button thing here for the play messages. Why is that so wet? I think it goes. Let's see here. It goes like that. so it would seem. Let's do this. This will make it easier. This has to go like that. And this would have to go like this because it's really the only way that would make any sense. And so where in the world does this come into play? Okay, the play button needs to come out. Oh, this goes in first. Looks like that's how it's going to go. That seems right. And this has a tab to align it, so let's put that in there relatively easily. And that's that. And now these buttons have to go like that. And this should be good. All right, now we can get the electronics board mounted in here again. To make sure there's no uh, water drops on that screen there. It looks like it's okay.
Okay, looks like the base is ready to get put back together. And this should be just a simple put in place here. Takes care of the main base. Now the charging cradle, I am going to open up just for the purpose of uh, cleaning the contacts. And it's not really that dirty in there. I'm not sure it's worth. Yeah, it's just dust in there. So I'm just going to open this up to clean the contacts. And one screw there, and then. Uh, comes right off. Well, since it came off that easily, eh, I guess it really is just dust in there. It wouldn't be worth the time to get this wet. So, uh, we'll just clean the contacts real quick. do the other two hand sets now and then I'll come back and get a shot of the whole system cleaned up. Okay that's gonna wrap up this video. These are restored and ready to go. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe and out.